in today's episode of Adventure Everything. I eat a tree, find a butterfly the size of my hand, and make friends with a toucan. Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another vlog right here on my second channel. I'm kind of enjoying doing these, these throwbacks to adventures gone by, but I'm also going to be using this channel to, to, update, to update you guys on what is going on in my life as well. So there's going to be more videos like that coming up, just kind of vlogs, my old school vlogs that I used to do on my main channel that I don't really do anymore, I'm going to be doing them here. So today's episode, I am taking you back to Iguazu, where I was in the south of Brazil in 2015, a very memorable trip for me, I absolutely loved it. And this time we're exploring the rainforest and I get to meet a toucan very close and personally and it was an incredible experience, one that I'll never forget, something I really, really enjoyed doing. And I have basically loved toucans ever, ever since then. It was just a great, great trip and I was sad to leave. But, you know, a lot of you guys have not seen this video um, if you've not been on my main channel for very long, so I thought I would replay it. Since we're all still at home, not all locked down, but we still can't really travel anywhere. And I thought, you know, while this whole coronavirus situation is ongoing, I would be able to show you my older videos and we'll get inspired to maybe go out there and travel again once this is all over. That's the plan. I hope so. The weather is incredible here in London, but we can't really go anywhere other than a bit of a short walk. So this is keeping me going. Editing these videos, putting them together and I hope you enjoy them. Let me know it down in the comments below. Great to see you. And by the way, if you're new here, if you've just joined this channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below and then you will be part of this. You will not miss anything going forward. So let's do it. Iguazu in the forest. No, going to start here. Nine kilometers walking through the forest. I'm going to get a boat. That side's Argentina. And then I'm going to get the boat all the way along here to some islands and stuff. No. Apparently I might come in touch with some snakes on this trail. This one's alright, that one's alright, that one's not alright. The Iguazu National Park in Brazil is one of the few remaining isolated sections of the Atlantic rainforest, a once fast forest in the south of Brazil that has now almost entirely disappeared due to its location close to some of the country's largest cities and population centers. Fortunately though, the Iguazu Park enjoys protection and it has many trails that you can take a guided walk through to learn more about the habitat. Oh, I'm getting attacked by flies here. Ugh. Ugh. Flies all over me. It's so humid here. I'm drinking a lot of water. Need to drink a lot. Even though some of the sun's not really getting through the canopy. It's flipping hot. Maria Preta porque tem uma coloração bem escura dentro da árvore. Mm. E os indígenas usavam para pintar a pele. Ah, ah é? Uh -huh. Falso jaborandi. Mm. Mm. Tudo bem? Essa parte aqui, em cima, é comestível. Vocês querem ah, comer é? um pedaço? Pode no, comer? Sim, sí, pode. You can eat this stuff. Don't know what it is, but. De salada. Salada? Não gosto, não. Pão de carne. Bom, e essa planta. Tem que ser like onion. Estancar o sangramento. Ah, eu também. É, é quando você sangra. Stops bleeding. Ah, stops you from bleeding. Mm. Yeah. There's a mark of something there. I think it's. You're saying it's a pig? Lots of dead butterflies here for some reason. Look at that. Just stood on one. Look at that one, that is absolutely beautiful. That's amazing. There's a way. But for some reason, there's a lot of dead moths and butterflies here. Bright yellow ones. <sighs> Didn't have the camera ready, but I just saw a, a type of wildcat here, a big black one. Jaguar Chirica. Jagua Chirica. No. Jaguar? Chirica. Jaguar Chirica. Mm -hmm. Jaguar Chirica. Which is a type of wildcat here. It just passed in front of us really quick. I missed it on the camera. What a noise. What's making that noise, Tech? Cigar. It's a type of beetle. Noises of the jungle.
So we walked for about eight or nine kilometers now through the woods. Uh, we're going to take the last tiny final bit on transport because they're all a bit tired and hot and sweaty. But we're almost there. The heat was getting the better of us, so we jumped on an electric car to take us to the river. Okay, so we have arrived at the riverbank and we're about to take a boat, a boat trip. We did the 10 kilometers, which was amazing. We really enjoyed it. Saw a lot of really cool things. It was my first time in the jungle. I don't know if you can see there, but the other side of the riverbank is Argentina. This is Brazil, the other side is Argentina. You can hear all around us, you can hear the bugs croaking and screaming. <sighs> what a trip. Atrás. With bug spray applied and life jackets on, we got ready to jump aboard for a boat ride on the Iguazu River, just above the falls. So what we're looking at right now, this side of the bridge is Brazil. That there, where that house is, and on the other side of the bridge is Paraguay. Look, all you do is cross that bridge there, and that there is Cidade Leste, Paraguay. So close to us, we're just on the other side of the river, and we're in Brazil, and that is Paraguay. How cool is that? Paraguay's second biggest city, after the capital. Second only after the capital. Stopped here just for a look at Paraguay. <laughs> We've come to a wildlife park where they have a lot of animals that you find in the woods here. But ones that they've kind of rescued and might be injured. They have like toucans and parrots and all that kind of thing. It's called Park das Aves. I've never been a fan of zoos, but this seemed different. Park das Aves is a bird sanctuary where the Namibian British couple who run it. Carmel and Ollie, which was originally founded by Carmel's parents, they work not only to rescue birds, but are also involved in the breeding of endangered species for release back into the wild. I had never seen a toucan before and was desperately keen to get up and close, walking through the huge aviaries. As I was with the owners and they allowed it, we found out the way to a toucan's heart, and it happens to be sliced grapes. So the body has a problem getting rid of the iron, and we, it took us about 10 years of research to develop a diet that was right. Because we've lost a lot of it. So now um, we, we published it and, and, and stuff, and we've, we've got the biggest um, collection of toucans on the planet. Really? Yeah. <laughs> huh? what, what's he saying? It's definitely a little um, affectionate. Oh. That's really sweet. That's really sweet. What they quite uh, like, now careful with your face in case he, he tries yeah. to nibble on you. Um, they quite like to, we're, we're setting a really bad example to the tourists. Oh, yeah. What they really <laughs> like is um, is a little scratch on their beaks. Oh really? If you, if you, I don't know if you, I know you're eating now. You, you give them a little scratch then, I uh -huh. think it sends nice sort of... Ah, uh, vibrations in there. So if you're ever near, I highly recommend coming to Park des Aves. It's an absolutely incredible place. The, the birds they've got here are unbelievable. They do an amazing job in looking after any that are sick. Uh, so the police and local wildlife people, they bring in any birds that have been injured or sick and the, the hospital here looks after them. And they try and release any healthy birds, which is great. It's just a great place to come and see the wildlife. It's amazing, absolutely incredible. Highly recommend it.